Sexually transmitted infections, or STIs for short, are infections spread through sexual contact. According to the BC Centre for Disease Control, the prevalence of STIs such as chlamydia and gonorrhea are on the rise. This is partly because not enough people are receiving the STI screening they need. To help spread awareness and promote testing, the BC Centre for Disease Control developed an online screening tool called What Are My Chances? This tool allows people to find out whether or not they should get tested for STIs in less than a few minutes and from the comfort of their own home. The initial prototype of the risk calculator was tested with target users. While most users recognized the benefits of the calculator in encouraging testing, they also identified several critical issues. The introductory page of the tool overwhelmed users with large blocks of text. Some of the questions didn't seem relevant to STI risk. The survey lacked options that accounted for non-binary genders, and users were confused when they received the positive testing recommendation despite a low risk score. To find solutions to these problems, our team conducted six user interviews and circulated an online questionnaire to reach a broader population. We found that users desire a simplistic interface design, an explanation of how each question is relevant for calculation, options that represent the diversity of target populations, and interpretable results. With these findings, we propose a new interface for the STI risk calculator. The calculator is situated in the SmartSex resource website so that users may have access to other information and services that are offered. The introductory page of the calculator organizes the information using bullet points and collapsible modules to avoid overwhelming the user. Each category of questions has a short, why do we ask this paragraph, that explains how it is relevant to STI risk. Our design provides inclusive answer options that represent the diversity of target users, including options for non-binary genders, transgender individuals, and multiple ethnicities. We found it necessary to consider different genders, sexualities, and ethnicities to avoid excluding vulnerable groups. The results of the calculator are shown in multiple ways. A simple yes or no testing recommendation, a bar graph that visualizes the user's risk in comparison to a testing threshold, and text that explains the results and provides recommendations for the next steps the user can take. Although further work is still needed to refine our design, we hope that our contributions to this design challenge will guide not only developers for this calculator, but also similar risk assessment tools so that they can more effectively and sensitively communicate risk.